after the Tree of Dreamers, which will be planted in the college campus to empower the students to dream big and aim to achieve greater things in life. To dream is to have the power to change destinies, provided we recognize its power and take courage to implement it. Hence, to dream, think, and do. Every human being is a dreamer, but those who follow their dreams religiously achieve them. As this tree of dreamers heightens, we hope that our college will unearth the talent of the young mind it nurtures, and the students learn to ameliorate their executive and creative thinking skills. And to take a step to not just dream and think, but also to do. As this warmest greetings to one and all, respect and special gift guests, Professor Jagadish Kumar Patnaya, Vice Chancellor of Nagali University, Honorable Chris, Principal Deans, Staff, my fellow Pluto mates, and you do all and do you all my dear freshers. I know me and Lota of the FA semester, English Department. And I Sunti Naro Jamir of the A third semester Department of Psychology take immense pleasure in welcoming all of you to the Salvate 2023 Freshers Meet formal program. The term salvity is derived from the Latin word, which means welcome, and we, Tetsu College, carry this exquisite tradition of welcoming our freshers in this manner as, they, as we celebrate their entry into college life. And extending a cordial warm welcome to all the novice, yet ambitious and creative minds. I want to congratulate you all on taking this significant step in your life. You have chosen a path that will shape your future and determine the kind of life you will live. As a fresher, you are filled with hope and ambition, and I encourage you to take a moment to reflect on the road that have brought you here. As we commend with a formal session of Salvate Freshers Meet, I will humbly like to invite on stage Dr. Oh, sorry, Mr. Younger Inchen of Faith Fellowship to evoke God's presence, blessing, and guidance in our midst. Before I pray, uh, let me read out the verse for every one of us here. It's from Proverbs chapter 8, verse 35 to 36. The word of God says, For whoever finds me finds life, and they receive favor from the Lord, but those who miss me endure and so All who hate me love them.
Good afternoon, everyone. Respected chairpersons, our honorable special guest, uh, Professor Jagadish Kumar uh, our guests who are here, Yangnam from Faith Fellowship at his daily life, our staff, students, and of course, our dear freshers who are here this afternoon to celebrate Salvatore in 2023, a Freshers' Day at Pizzo College. I warmly welcome you all formally to this program. I would first like to extend a very warm welcome to our honorable special guest, the Vice Chancellor of Nagala University, Professor Jagadish Kumar Baikman, for gracing us with your presence this afternoon on this very special day. We really appreciate uh, you taking the time out for us this afternoon to address the Tutso College community and we look forward to hearing your address. Before I move on to other things, I would like to address our freshers, the undergraduate and postgraduate freshers of 2023. Can you all kindly rise from where you're sitting so we can have a good look at you? and we can acknowledge your presence here this morning. All the freshers of the undergraduate and postgraduate programs, can you kindly rise? You are all dressed so beautifully and have come all very well prepared to attend this program. We'd like to acknowledge your presence. Let's all give them a round of applause. Welcome to the college as we celebrate your freshers day. Kindly be seated, everyone. When we welcomed all of you freshers to the college, we, your college journey began in June this year. It started off with orientations, icebreaker sessions with your seniors, and you've also had the student council elections. And for the UG students, you've already had your first round of internal evaluations. So by now, even as we celebrate pressures today in the month of September, I hope that you've all had a decent amount of time to settle down into the Tutsol College environment and to the campus life. Some of you might have had an easy start, while some of the others might have had more challenging beginnings. But I'd like to reassure you that all of this is quite normal, and also that you, it may likely continue in this manner till the day you graduate from Tito College. But do not worry. Embrace every moment, good and bad, challenging and successful. Because every moment comprises of your college experience. Some of you might also be a long way from home. Some of you might be feeling homesick. Some of you at times may feel self-doubt. Or you may face academic hurdles along the way. If any of you are experiencing these feelings, remember that you are never alone. The institution, your dedicated staff, faculty, and your seniors who have gone through similar experiences are all here to support you through your college life. We're here to help you through any of the challenges that you may be experiencing. So please feel free to reach out to any one of us. Now about the future. Two or three years from now, we will be addressing you as the graduating class of 2026 and the graduating class of 2025 at your graduation ceremony. While you live in the present and embrace the moment, I remind you also to keep on planning for your future. At Tetsu College, we present you a world of opportunities and personal growth to enrich and enhance your educational experience. The Tetsuo College experience is more than just academics. It is more than just attending your classes. It is more about self-discovery, embracing the diversity of thought, forging lifelong friendships, and also pursuing your passions, and most importantly, building the foundation for a successful future. Because remember that you are joining a community of dreamers, thinkers, and doers. 
What we have witnessed over the years at Tetsuo College is the diversity of backgrounds, the diverse interests, and the varied experiences that each and every member of the Tetsuo College community brings to Tetsuo College. We're so glad to be having students from different parts of India and even the Northeast with different range of achievements. And that's why today, we're also taking the time out to acknowledge our student achievers who have represented the college in external events and have brought laurels back home to their college. And this is whether, whether it be in the field of academics, sports, arts, or even in the beauty industry. The Tso College, with no intention to soften the school, is more than just its name or the meaning of its literal translation, which means talk. It's more than that. It is the people who create the Tso College. It is all of you sitting here today in our midst. And we truly value the talent, the exposure that each of you brings to the college. And I do hope that all of you will savor every experience because your college life will pass by faster than you can imagine. Today for our Freshers' Day, we have brought one of the most important persons in higher education in our state to address you all this afternoon, Professor Jagadish Kumar Patnai, who is serving as the Vice Chancellor of Nagaland University. And so while we have him in our midst this afternoon, I would like to take this opportunity to share a few thoughts and requests on behalf of the Tetsuo College community. Tetsuo College is affiliated to Nagaland University, which is one of the central universities in the country. And now with the coming of our new Vice Chancellor, who was previously the pro-Vice Chancellor of Mizoram University, Mizoram University, for the information of all, is ranked 76th in the National Institutional Ranking Framework. And now, with the coming of our Vice Chancellor, we are even more hopeful that Nagaland University will take a forward leap in strengthening the state of Nagaland's higher education potential. Vice Chancellor, sir, we are already seeing changes happening in Nagaland with initiatives like to start district sports, with focused emphasis on research and publications, and efforts to upgrade the NAC grade of our university. The Tso College extends its support to all of these initiatives. And we would humbly like to request your intervention in helping us to also start the Bachelors of Physical Education and Sports, for which we have sent a proposal last year to start it in 2023. However, a syllabus is yet to be formulated on this. We also want to introduce vocational programs like uh, fashion technology, BHM, and other specialized courses like microbiology and biotechnology. We believe that the future of higher education in Nagaland is about attracting more students from neighboring countries from Bhutan, Myanmar, Nepal, Bangladesh, for which we boldly like to request our VC to kindly help us make this a reality. We are so happy to be affiliated to Nala University and we often look forward to guidance and advice from the well-qualified professors and subject ex experts at NU. At the same time, we feel that it would greatly benefit our faculty and educational leaders if they had more exposure and training. We request you to please help institutes have access to the best minds across India and the world. Another, while the emphasis we say should not only be on ranks and gold medals, may we also request the university at this time if we can declare the subject toppers for all the specific streams. To be more specific, the BBA topper is being combined, combined with the BA general program instead of having its own gold medalist. And likewise for other professional courses like BCA and BSW. To have our own gold medal, it would be a great source of encouragement to our students and also to the teachers who are teaching the course. 
And lastly, in the same way that I would tell our students to please ask what you can do for the college and not the other way around, I asked our VC sir, what can the college do for Nagaland University? As mentioned earlier, we have an interest in vocational programs. We believe that we can push forward on this together. We're also interested in starting an executive MBA program with the management department of Nagaland University. We can provide the venue space, and NU can provide the faculty expertise. With all of these, I'd like to sum up and once again thank the Vice Chancellor for agreeing to come to Tetsu College. We're so honored and also very encouraged by your presence. And I'd like to lastly request our student community to listen carefully and patiently to his address. I know it's a hot and sunny day, but it's only once in a, once in a lifetime that we get visits by such special guests. So please be attentive and be enlightened by his words this afternoon. With that, I wish everyone a very happy, precious day to all of you. Thank you. A very good afternoon to you all. Special guest, Professor Jagdish Kumar Patnai, Vice Chancellor, Nagaland University, the principal, teaching and non-teaching faculties, all invitees, and my dear friends. It is indeed an honor for me to stand before you all and deliver a speech on behalf of the freshers of undergraduate level on this auspicious day. And I would also like to thank the college for organizing this program for us. Today marks the beginning of an extraordinary chapter in our lives. As freshers, we have entered this college with open minds, ready to soak in new knowledge and experiences. We are embarking on a journey that will shape our future and define who we become. Each of us have our own unique stories, aspirations, and talents, and together we form a diverse and vibrant class of freshers. We have become a part of the wonderful community that extends its arms to embrace us, guide us, and support us throughout this amazing journey. To our seniors, we look up to you as role models. Your guidance and experience will be invaluable in helping us navigate through the challenges and opportunities that lie ahead. We seek your support and we promise to make the most of the knowledge and wisdom that you will share with us. To our professors, we are grateful for the opportunity to learn from you. Your expertise, passion, and dedication to education will help us grow and excel in our children's chosen fields. We eagerly anticipate the knowledge and skills that you will impart upon us in the coming years. Let us remember that this is not just a phase of our education. It is an opportunity to grow as individuals, to broaden our horizons and make lifelong friendships. Today we stand on the threshold of endless possibilities. Let's make the most of our time here, both inside and outside the classrooms. Let's embrace diversity, value differences, and foster a sense of unity among all the students on this campus. To, my, to all my fellow freshers, I urge you to seize this moment. Let's be bold, let's be fearless, and let's be eager to learn. Let's work hard, dream big, and make the most of each and every day here. Together we can create a better, future or rather a bright future for ourselves and make a positive impact on the world. Thank you. I stand here filled with anticipation and excitement as we embark on this incredible journey. First, I would like to express a more profound gratitude to the faculties, staffs and administrators who have worked tirelessly to create an environment that fosters learning, growth and personal development. Your dedication to our education is very treasured and we are eager to learn from your wisdom and guidance. To our fellow students, we extend our thanks to you for giving us a warm welcome. We recognize it's one of your brings unique perspective, challenge and back background to this community and we are excited to collaborate, learn from and support one another throughout our time here. Together, we form a diverse and vibrant community of experiences and aspirations 
that uncoupled it will enrich our college experience. As we step into this college, we carry with us our dreams and ambitions. We are here just not to obtain a degree, but to acquire knowledge, develop a critical thinking skills, and cultivate a deep sense of curiosity. We aspire to challenge ourselves, to step outside our comfort zones, and embrace the opportunities for our personal development that Excel College provides. Our education is is just not defined by our academic grades or learns we offer, but by our commitment to make a positive impact on the world. We are deeply aware of the challenges facing our society today, and we believe in the power of education to inspire change, and we are determined to use our time here with the tools and knowledge much needed to express, to address many of our society is a uh, pressing business. In closing, let us embrace this new chapter of our lives with open hearts and open minds. Let us seize this opportunity that I have had, build lasting friendship, and strive for excellence in all our individuals. Together, we have the potential to create a positive and last, lasting impact on this institution and the world beyond. Thank you. And may our journey here be one of the growth, discovery, and improvement. Tetsu College believes in excellence, and we really appreciate students who put in effort. Today I'm here to announce a few awards which are being handed out. Tetsu Excellence, excellence Student Awards. For some of the students who have performed really well, and we would like to honor them today. Firstly, I would like to announce the Tetsu Excellence Scholarship 2023. Tetsu College recognizes the efforts of students who perform extremely well in their HSSLC examinations. And this year, we have three rank holders from the HSSLC examinations who have joined our institution. As I call out their names, I would like to request these students to kindly come up on stage and stand uh, to the left of me. Sampila Santam, who has secured the HSSLC 7th rank and has joined our college pursuing BA, BA Political Science. Sampila Santam. The second student is Inotoli, who has secured who had secured the 8th rank in the HSSLC examination and is now pursuing the BA, BA Economics course at our college. Anamika Devnath, who had secured the 10th rank in the HSSLC examination and is now pursuing her studies at Tetsu College in the BCom program. To, to felicitate them, may I kindly request on stage our Honorable Vice Chancellor, Professor Patnaik to kindly come on stage and do the honors, beginning with Ms. Sampila. who have performed really well in academics, our college is also fortunate to have students who have performed spectacularly well in several other co-curricular activities, thereby venturing our name out to different parts of the country. I would like, like to call upon three students. We actually have uh, nine students. I'm going to call them three at a time. DK Kibami of BSW first semester and her team, Fate in Action, created the new Guinness World Record for the highest assisted martial art kick on the set of India's Got Talent on 5th July 2023, kicking a height of 14 feet and 5 inches. In addition to this, she has also qualified to, re to represent the state in the 37th edition of the National Games which will be held in Goa in, in the later part of the year. The second student 
Chichin Konyak of BBA third semester is the winner of the essay writing competition during the Teachers Day Art and Literary Contest 2023 organized by the NSUI Dimapur District Tourist Watch held on 4th September. Kurite Nasser of BA fifth semester Sociology honors has bagged the first prize in the inter-college extemporary speech competition organized by the child-friendly Dimapur Aida at the City Law College Dimapur on 25th August under the theme One Step Towards Creating Clean and Safe Environment for Children. Thank you students, you have made us proud. I would now like to call upon, call upon Mr. Younger Vinchen from, from Faith Fellowship to kindly
start with we'll start with Niboto Hachumi. Okai Kijimo. And Rachel Arab. Thank you for all to all the students for making our college proud. Continue to inspire us and continue to strive for excellence. Thank you. Respected special guests. Professor Jagadish Kumar Patnaik, Vice Chancellor Nagaland University. Our guest, Principal, Head of Departments, Deans, Teaching Faculties, and Dear Precious. It's a great privilege for me to give this speech on behalf of all the seniors. First and foremost, congratulations on your significant achievement and for making it to this esteemed institution. On behalf of the seniors, I want to extend a warm and heartfelt welcome to each and every one of you to our Petro community. As you embark on this new journey, I want to remind you all that the short stay here will be a time to embrace new opportunities, a time of growth and exploration, a time to learn, a time to come out from your comfort zone, and a time to make a lot of new friends. College is not just about academics. It's about personal growth, developing new skills, and discovering your patients. So we encourage you to join clubs, participate in extracurricular activities, and explore your talents and interests that you may never have considered before. I also want to emphasize the importance of hard work, determination, and resilience, as these are the qualities which will help overcome any obstacles and succeed. Lastly, may you make the most of it and create a positive impact in the world. Once again, welcome to Tetzel College, dear Freshers, and let's create a strong and supportive community that strives for excellence. Thank you.
which I have chosen this profession of teaching. Don't consider me to be an administrator. I am first of all a teacher. And being a teacher, my first love is to be in the midst of the students. I feel it really a privilege for me more so to be present on the celebration of the freshest day 2023 of the Tessa College. In the morning, I happened to be in another college. There also I spoke about how much I like to be in the midst of the students. Because students inspire thinkers. Students inspire teachers, not the other way around. It may so happen that some teacher may inspire you, but the teacher gets inspired by the dynamic student, an individual student. I congratulate all the freshers who have been admitted today, uh, not today, today, in this college, today in celebrating the freshers' day. Before I had turned into this day runner, I was asked by the principal madam, to inaugurate the digital studio. I am very happy and I congratulate the management, the principal madam and all of you for having a facility which would go a long way in generating lot of digital resources, particularly from the point of view of Naga tradition. Naga history, Naga culture, and Naga Indian knowledge system. This is the new thing that I have been now talking about. Either you say Indian Naga knowledge system or Naga Indian knowledge system, vice versa. And which is the key, one of the key elements of the National Education Policy 2020, which has been implemented in the state of Nagaland, and which has been implemented by Nagaland University. Your course curriculum, your course structure, everything has been, you know, revised and has been tailored in line with the requirements of the National Education Policy. 
this will not interest you, I know. I'll come to the things that will interest you and inspire you. But I don't know to what extent I can be able to inspire you. Still, I will go on speaking something more. After that, I will come to speak about the students. Madam Principal represented very meticulously and with so much of fastidiousness the requirements and the possibilities that Tersa College wants to incorporate in the course of development of this institution. And I fully endorse all the things that she proposed. Given a chance, if it is within the framework of the new system, I am going to approve everything. Even if it is not within the rule system, the framework of the rule system, I will try my level best to have the smaller things. It is a very small thing, but there are so many bottlenecks that are created because of the structural reasons of this ecosystem that we are present in. I joined just exactly one year back in Nagaland University, wherein the outlook and attitude, pardon me for being very blunt, the outlook and attitude of people in the educational system in here is very conservative. People, are, people should be allowed to think out of the box, which is not happening. And if you come up with a proposal for me to offer a course, a module on Indian Naga system, I'll be very glad. Madam, to respond to your specifics, like allowing this Bachelor in Physical Education, you'll be happy to know that I myself have proposed to the UGC to open a master's program, a department on physical education to the UGC. So why not I approve when you submit your course cur curriculum syllabus for the Board of Studies and then to the Academy Council. I will be glad to support you. Regarding biotechnology, I will be the first person. I am a student of political science. But if you talk to my colleagues in the last one year, the kind of things that I do is pro-science not political science. So biotechnology is the in thing in the modern scientific world. And if our students here, the presence, biotechnology presence is very low. And interestingly, Nagaland University is having biotechnology teaching program and we have got some constraints. I was amazed to know about that. I wanted that, I wanted to fill up the course of professor of biotechnology. And the person who has got highest number of scopus in this publication would of course automatically qualify to become a professor. But the, 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 the school of engineering and technology in Nagar University said, sir, ours is as per the AICT requirement, falan, falan, falan things should happen. If somebody is having BSc, MSc, geology, and you know, a PhD from biotechnology from say United States, why not we have him? No, no, sir, it can't be. Then I kept quiet because uh, I have to go through the academic council route where I will just open up. There, there are so many structural, I say, so many structural problems to open up and allow the growth of certain disciplines. Similarly, I had a problem in agricultural sciences. We had a wonderful candidate, of course, I saw that he joined. And I did it through my own interpretation of the things. He has all the publications published in the foreign journals. And he is the fellow of Royal Society of Quebec. He's currently now professor in my university. I'm very proud. And I've got many such kind of people now I'm recruiting. Those who have got very... And I, what I do, you know, at times I take the shortcut. I don't care anybody. I don't care anybody. If for the good of the institution, if I need to 
bypass certain things, I will do it. It's not the first time I have done it. I was doing it in Mizoram University and I am also doing it here. Madam, regarding micro, this uh, microbiology, please do introduce. Please come up, ask your department faculty to present all the syllabus to the respective schools. I will definitely see that they are through. You next year, next academic session, you please get ready to introduce all these courses. I have no issues in approving those things. Now, students, it's very hard and feeling. <laughs> I saw that the motto of the college, strive for excellence. What else can it be? When you are in academics, you need to strive for excellence. But what is the yardstick of excellence? To what extent you can go to so that you can achieve excellence? Don't, don't panic. Don't worry. I'll explain. I'll define excellence in a very simplistic way, in our own way, in our modest way. For me, excellence is to pursue one's own self to the fullest possibility in achieving his or her objective. That is excellence. It's not necessarily that you have to get gold medal in MA or BA and you have achieved excellence. No, I don't agree with that. I've seen gold medal myself so many times. But it did not give me any satisfaction. I did not feel that I have achieved excellence. Because as long as I have not pursued the desired intention that I have in my mind to the fullest extent possible, I have not achieved excellence. You may not be to the expectations of your parents. You may not be up to the expectations of your teachers. But if you feel that you have given it a hundred percent, then I would say that you have reached excellence. The whole thing is how to unravel yourself and come out of all the constraints, handicaps and hurdles and prove yourself your own worth. Then I will say you are having excellence. Excellence is not to become an IS officer. Excellence is not to become a philosopher, a scientist, nothing. In your own life, you should feel satisfied. You see, these are only momentary kind of achievements that would give you some satisfaction for a while. But you, it has to have a longer satisfaction. You should feel at the end of the day what I have done, what I have achieved. Then I would say that you have really achieved something. In Nagaland University, we have tried to, we have been trying to at least ever since I joined, to do these kind of things. And now, with the introduction of NAP 2020, you have everything on the platter. You can have fashion designing, you can have biotechnology, you can have yoga, you can be yoga master, you can have Naga Cuisine. When college has already started, I was so happy. Immediately, I text to her. It is her. Shall I take the name? Jafu College. Jafu Christian College, Kohima. She is also lady principal. Uh, immediately after the, she, they opened their laboratory, she sent me the photo of the laboratory. What a wonderful thing. Because by having that course, they have not started the course, but the lab has started. And when they come, I will definitely support them. And having that course, you are reaching at a global level. Now, I will relate this digital studio. In the digital studio, if you can develop a module, or a couple of modules on, I have already said, in the, in the, I think, I think, yeah, digitizing, yes, 
digitizing uh, three 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 no? three tribes languages something like that. Uh, not the the dominant tribe. Pardon me for using the word dominant. It is Madam will pardon me because she knows what I mean by dominant tribe. She is a student of cultural studies. So the the work that we are going to undertake in Tetsu College is not to record the language, the story of history of the dominant tribe, rather the tribe which is rather minority tribe, if I am correct in my opinion. Uh, that laboratory, if you develop a course on this Naga knowledge system, Indian knowledge system, and we will put up that in the Swayam platform, not only that our students will take here that course, we will make it compulsory to all to take that course. And that course you don't have to take in the classroom, you have to take that course in off online, sitting at home after dinner time, one hour online course, and you write the exam. Dimapur is the place where you have got the center for swine. Four days back, I had a meeting with the additional secretary online again. I am a person who believes in online things. And I told to him, Sir, Nagaland is neglected and people do not take swim courses because we do not have sufficient number of centers. A boy from Mon district, how can he come all the way to Dimapur to write his exam? Maybe a poor boy. Then it is noted. But for you in Dimapur, it would not be a difficult proposition. You can take few courses. What I would request, Madam Principal, just let your students take more number of swim courses. Reason is, next year we are buckling up for NAC assessment. Please have sufficient, all the, all the students should enroll at least one course. I am going to have it uh, to transfer thing. We will do it slowly. Slowly means next year. Let us spend next year. Because in the next academic council, by then we have to frame the rules. If you are having a credit course of two, uh, or four, we will transfer it. For that, actually, we have to evolve, you know, the uh, rules or the framework and thing. But you can enroll, get the certificate, and give credit. And Nagaland University will definitely recognize that, which is very important for NAC accreditation. Another important thing I just I was inquiring, madam, inquiring from her. Teachers, how many teachers are having PhDs? Please enroll all of you. I would see, I am really ashamed of myself when I say this language. This is in Nagar University, some of the teachers are yet to have PhDs. I got so furious. You don't know my language, I shout like anything. I said, how come for 12 years you have been working here and not done PhDs? I want that within next year you should register for PhD. That's the language I speak. I terrify people for their positive development. I don't mind to terrify you if there is some positive development. So I request all the teachers, please, at least enroll yourself in PhD program. And I for myself, one for myself, what can I do for you? By just saying that I will Please do it. No, I'm there for you. What is that? This year, immediately last year actually I came in September. Immediately after I came, I asked how many PhDs are registered under Nagaland University. They say very bigger number. I don't want to speak for that number. Immediately I said go for the winter session admission. So we have we did some number. It was not encouraging. But I was not feeling encouraged, but they said, no, sir, this is a good thing. Now, this year, again, July admission, they enrolled. What I have done, you know, I have given fellowship to everybody who pursues PhD. 
8,000 thousand rupees, non non debt fellowship. You pass out from MA, I will give you fellowship. You will do research, course work, everything. In the meanwhile, if you can prepare for competitive examination, I don't mind. If you get into NPS, I don't mind. If you get IAS, I'll be very happy. But I give you eight thousand rupees. Similarly, I request madam to give incentive. You don't have to give eight thousand every month. Don't give. You can't afford to. But please incentivize. Give some increments, something. Those who get PhD. Three days back, I was asking. I was interacting with the heads and deans and the PVC and so on to prepare ourselves because I have also submitted the NAC SSR. This address to the teachers. Don't worry, do my discourse. I'll come to you again. Then the teacher said, "A publication. We need uh, incentive." I said, "Wait, not now, but I will give incentive for something else." What is that? If you can give me, if you can give me a patent, I'll give you sixty thousand rupees for for publishing one patent. They were really surprised. I said, "I've got money, but I will give it give it." The proper way, but this is the kind of decision you took. The bold decision you took. We've been taking to bring Nagara University to the forefront of the national level. Similarly, I'm so much fascinated by the infrastructure here. We do not have. I'm ashamed to admit this kind of building because they are corrupt people. They really we get. Hundreds and thousands of crores from central government, but I don't have this kind of building because it's being managed by a private lady. See, you have got such wonderful infrastructure. You should be very proud of the infrastructure that you have. And I wish Madam will take much more progressive steps to get much more facilities for the students. Are you happy, hostels? Full. Full of hostel for all the students. Yeah. So now it will be. I would request Madam to have fully residential college. Please do it. Please do it. And you collect money from them. Don't have to do it for free. Nothing is for free. There is nothing called free lunch. Because Madam is a very dynamic person, I'm interested. First time I'm speaking to somebody like this. I never speak in a in a podium like this because I was fascinated. So when you have what the hostels for everybody, if she wants, she can get it within one year. If a vice chancellor wants, she cannot get even within two years, three years. That's the constraint of the public institution. I want to do everything very fast, quick and fast. I'm not able to do it. And people are telling that sir is getting impatient. Sir, we are doing sufficient progress. I said no. Nothing is moving in Nagar University. I say, but there are some changes taking place now. I am happy also. Within one year, we have done something for the students, for the uh, research scholars, for the teachers. Similarly, if you look at that kind of profile and have in the college. I think this college will definitely shine. What is your name? What is your sorry? What is your uh, grade? B. Next time you are getting A. I I got the experience of visiting colleges and other institutions. Uh, I mean universities as a NAC peer team member, as NAC peer team chair for the last spanning. Roughly, not roughly, exactly 20 years. Since 2004, I've been visiting colleges and universities. My uh, experience says that with this kind of infrastructure, only constraint is teachers, PhDs, obligations. Of course, for colleges, the percentage is not as much for the universities. And uh, in case you need any handholding, of course, already we are in two times, you know. Related, including third, uh, you can 
approach in Nagar University. We have a very dynamic FPSC director. You say here coordinator, we say director because it's the university system. So he can also help you how to do the thing. Now the students are to talk about students. I spoke about your pursuit for excellence, all these things that may sound a little bit, you know, abstract. But when it comes to the reality, what are the things that you are going to do? How many hours you are going to spend in the library? Now you don't have to go to the library. You can have a remote access sitting in your hostel room or in your uh, reading room. And I think library automation might have been done here. So remote access, you can have. And you have to spend more time in reading and writing and thinking. Thinking is more important. If you don't think about what you are read and write, that kind of knowledge is not knowledge. Then here you will ask me, sir, what is knowledge? For me, knowledge is that which I read, I write, I think, and forget. I forget also. Then something remains in my mind. That is for me is knowledge. And when I pursue that knowledge for a longer time, it is wisdom. You might have noticed what I am doing here. I am speaking from my knowledge. And the knowledge is, I do not remember anything. But something remains, that is my knowledge. Because learning and unlearning are the two sides of the same coin for the pursuit of knowledge. Your unlearning should move faster than your learning. So that what you learn next time when you unlearn that, you learn many things new. That is what knowledge is about. And you are all so fortunate. Because in India, still in Nagaland, still people do not get the kind of facility, the opportunity that we have got here. And you should capitalize during your stay of two years, three years, whatever number of years that you stay here. And take maximum benefit out of it. Money is worth. Paisa asur. Aapka paisa asur hona chahi. Your father is spending 10,000 rupees per month. You should get 30, 40,000 worth of the things. Then only I will say that you are doing justice to your father and mother. Or else you are cheating. You are betraying your own self, you are cheating yourself and cheating to the society. Please do not cheat yourself. Be sincere and honest in your undertaking and be successful. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. Sir, for empowering us with your intelligence and insights, accumulated from your years of service towards humanity and its greater cause. I believe your words of wisdom embedded in our hearts will be used to create a positive impact in society. And I have to say, you are, you are definitely an inspiration to all of us, and you have our utmost respect in all that you do. Now, as we near towards the program, towards the end of the program, I would like to hand over the time to my co-host, Naomi, for the word of thanks. We have come to the end of the program. It has been such an honor to be a part of this event. On behalf of the Tetsuo family, I would like to extend my gratitude to our esteemed guest, Professor Dirtish Kumar Patnaya, Vice Chancellor of Nagaland University, honorable guests, their principal ID department, faculty, sincere thanks to the head of the various department who handled this event throughout. A wide round of applause and thanks to all the participation who made the program a memorable one. Finally, I would like to thank all of you present here for making the time to be with us and helping us to make this event a great success. Now, I would like to give time to Ms. Achok M. Konyak, Assistant Professor, Department of Economics, for the closing career. Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Th
us all unite at heart as I pray. Gracious and loving Heavenly Father, I want to say thank you so much for this very beautiful moment that you have given to each and every one of our life, Father. At this very moment, I want to say thank you for your presence from the beginning to the end of this program. Thank you for making this program a grand success. Lord, I also want to say thank you for the life of our Sir, the Vice Chancellor, for the insightful that he has given to us today by creating this program. Father, I also want to say thank you for all the life, uh, the life of all the participants. Thank you for the life of all the volunteers. Thank you for the life of all the teachers who have been involved in this program. Lord, may you continue to bless each and every one of them. Father, I especially want to thank you for the life of all the treasures who have gone into this Tetsu College. Help us and help them to have a time of learning. Father, at this very moment, I also want to say thank you for helping us to learn things today and helping us. Father, it is only you who have established all of our plans. Father, thank you that you will continue to help us. I also want to say thank you for the knowledge that we have occurred today. May you help us to steer our heart and that will keep us going forward to strive for excellence. Lord, thank you so much for this at so College. Thank you for the life of each and every one, and thank you for being with us for throughout the program. I just want to commit all of our life as we disperse in this very place. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Thank you one and all. With this, we sign off. May we continue to bless. Thank you.